Hi folks, Howard with Ragland Piano Company. I'm going to make a quick video and show you how to use our cork bridle straps. You're going to need a few tools. Um, I like to use a pair of small scissors. I think these are called dissecting scissors, if I'm not mistaken, about $5 on Amazon or eBay. Uh, of course, a set of our uh, bridle straps. M medium is going to fit 90 to 95% of the pianos out there. And with our sets, you also get a tool included with that that will help with installation. You'll see that momentarily. I also like to put just one drop of glue on my bridle straps as I'm installing them. Over time, the cork can shrink and let them pull back out again. Uh, I don't glue the whole thing in. I just put one drop. You'll see that during the installation process. Sometimes a knife like this with a long blade is helpful uh, in cutting out the old bridle straps. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the old ones off. Uh, this is a very old action. These are actually original straps. They're extremely brittle. You may be seeing something like that on your piano or you may have a more recent replacement set. But in any case, we're gonna to wanna to clean these off. Sometimes they're so brittle, you can just break the pieces loose like this. Sometimes I'll take a, a knife and I'll just cut them and cut down the action like this and, and open all of this up right here. You may just want to go straight into just cutting using the scissors. Reach as high up on the bridle strap as you can. Daryl, let's move to this one right here and show them. So here's, here's a replacement set like I mentioned earlier. We're going to get way, way, way up in here as high as we can with those scissors and cut just like that. And that's going to cut all these. Up. So we're going to clean the action up. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do one. If you can do one, you can do the other 87. So once you've got it cleaned up like this one is right here, I'm going to get into our bridle strap package here. This is the tool I mentioned earlier. It's got a piece of rubber tubing over it to protect the point in shipment. Just spear the bridle strap like that. Hold this part out of the way. Put just the tiniest little dab of glue on the bottom side. Not a whole lot, but it's enough to help keep that in place should the cork ever shrink. And then we insert the cork into the hole with the strap facing down. Just like that. Pull this out, go through, do all of them once they've dried. Here's kind of the tricky part that catches a lot of people. I'm going to show you how to properly connect the bridle strap and how to do something called tripping the jack. So what I'll do is I'll hold the bridle strap. Now I'm right-handed. And so I tend to like to work on these, actually starting at the other end, working this direction. However, we're just doing one as a sample, so this will work just fine. But I'll, I'll take the bridle strap in this hand, which that already needs to be cleaned off. And with my left hand, I'm going to push the jack heel down and get it clear of the hammer butt. Because if it's not clear of the hammer butt, when I raise up to hook up, this is going to catch in the wrong spot and you'll have a, a hammer that risks breakage when you install it in the piano action because the hammer will fling forward into the string and block. So we're going to trip the jack, make sure that the tip of the jack is in this area in front of the hammer butt here. And then we're going to turn the bridle strap like so, bring it this way here, work it around the top like this right here to where I can find that point and spear it down just like that. That's how to do it and then release the jack and everything's gonna be in the correct spot. Now, if you find that you have an excessive amount of movement here, this is about right. There's not enough slack here for the jack to get down and trip under just like it just did right there. I had to mash down on it, but bridle straps are all the same length. When we're selling small, medium, and large, it's the diameter of the cork, not the length of the strap. Proper adjustment of the bridle strap is just done by bending the bridle wire. You bring it back a little bit, now we've got, I've got my finger pressing the hammer butt down so that the shank is at, at the rest position. We've got just a little bit of movement here, not enough for the jack to drop in and drop underneath the hammer butt. That's properly adjusted and installed bridle strap. Whoops, almost forgot. I was gonna show you why I have a, a lighter for uh, burning the action down if you get tired of messing with it. No, that's not what we do this for. Uh, I'll show you what we do is if you're replacing a set that is a previous replacement from 20, 30, 40 years ago, 
many times they'll have a vinyl tip to them that has hardened and become very difficult to work loose. We've got an action right here that has those on there and I'm gonna demonstrate how a little bit of heat helps to soften those up. See, we have this very stiff, old vinyl tip to this bridle strap and it would be very hard to get this off of here. I find that just using a minimum amount of heat will soften that right up and make it so much easier to slip that off the end of it right there. That's it, thanks a lot.